So I'm making my first PS1 style game. I obviously have experience and did stuff before, but I never aimed to uh, pu publish something. And this is my first attempt to publish something. Uh, and yeah, um, so basically, and I will just break down what I made, created, did so far um, as a kind of uh, devlog i i'm i'm not quite sure um yeah so basically step zero is the the paperwork um and the the concept the the the, the what, what's the content about and so on and so on what's the vibe yeah uh then i started with the main character i always like to as you can see, I always like to to create the the character first. I'm I'm always about that uh, character um, design and character setup, colors and and silhouettes and yeah. So I I start with the with the character itself. Um, so I, I modeled my my knight um, and made some base animations. Uh, then I created the movement and control setup inside Unreal, um, and then I made a, a test level to yeah. To, so I actually can can test stuff. <laughs> yeah, funny. I I want an an minimalistic uh, game, minimalistic controls, minimalistic setup. I want something easy to learn, but hard to master. And it's very easy to achieve that with an interesting movement system. And I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man games and um, I'm still in love with Titanfall 2. And so I decided on a grappling hook for the knight. And because he's a knight, I made his sword also a grappling hook. So basically after the knight gets knighted, he can decide on a very personalized personali personalized weapon that gets only crafted for him and with his blueprints and he's talking with the blacksmith and stuff like that. So that's part of the, the ritual of becoming a knight in, my, in, my, in the world of the game. Um, and yeah, so the, the flintlock sword, flintlock sword of the knight, uh, of the, the player character was born and it's an, it's an, it's an sword that can turn into an, a grappling hook or you can, you can use it as a grappling hook and stuff like that. So I had to, to model the the sword and some animations and some extra additional uh, animations for the knight so he can actually wield and you know slash and hack and stuff and use the grappling hook uh, inside the game um, with this character uh, setup my, my vision for the whole game kind of changed um, because now I'm clearly need uh, because now I'm clearly need more space, more um, m bigger environments, so that the player can move and swing around and stuff. Oh, and also I got the opportunity to create um, movement-based puzzles. Um, and yeah, I think in the in the demo they are very basic down to earth because I, I don't expect someone in the first level to figure everything out but I, I think I did a good, a good job with um, translating or uh, uh, telling uh, what, what, what's to come and stuff. That's, that's also a big thing think with, with development. Uh, you you want to have levels and you want to give uh, a, a feeling of success and development, not like in our school systems. <laughs> yeah. So I, I noticed um, that if I give freedom with the movement and stuff, I can purposely uh, also take it away and create um, tension and make the player feel 
displaced in in displaced and weak in a certain uh, situation. So uh, that also influenced um, how I approach the second level. Uh, so the, the first level is basically uh, this, this movement-based, wide, uh, but linear uh, level. So the, the player can get used to the controls and um, uh, learn all about the, the benefits and the limits of the movement and, and so on and so on. And the second level, I purposely made it small, tight and uh, confusing. So I made a labyrinth inside the, the pit prison. So the, the first, the goal of the player is to, to enter the, the prison and, and find a prisoner. Um, and so I got the, the opportunity to make everything small and tight. Uh, so, oh, also I made the, the, the sword glow up if you activate it. So the, the sword, uh, if it's glowing up, it tells you basically I'm ready to, 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 to hook, to hook on something. And, um, which is also an, an, an light source, like a torch or flashlight. Um, and when the, the, the sword is hooked, uh, the, the light is gone. So I also played with that feature. Um, so the second level was dark, pitch black dark. And you have to use the, the light of the ready sword um, to navigate through the, the labyrinth of the pit prison. And, but the thing is, um, so you have the only light source. So I want the player want to don't use his actual strength. So he, he needs the light um, and to navigate through the labyrinth, but he's way slower and and stuff like that so that creates more tension and stuff and i really want to recreate that situation in 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 levels later on and stuff um so basically i i always want to swing between those open areas with open movement and spectacular um situation where you have to reach high points and and stuff like that and as contrast those narrow spaces with with high tension and you're way slower and you're out of uh, it's a, a fish out of water situation so uh, this back and forth um, you also you can only create um, horror um, situations if there is something to lose like in real life you lose obviously uh, you're scared of losing your life in the game it's sometimes losing the progress of the game but here it's um, I'm losing progress because I can't do what I'm good at. Uh, so for that player, that is my my aimed mindset. Um, so I I modeled the main environment um, pieces, uh, the main environment pieces, and some modular parts for both levels. The first level is dry nature. Um, and the second is lifeless concrete uh, for the for the prison. Uh, now I'm only have to design and the level and set up some setup and apply some logic to the situations like level transitions and light blah blah blah. It's all level design basically. Yeah, and the the, the next step is a very huge step. It took a lot 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 of time of the of the whole uh, setup. Uh, it's um, adding life and uh, lore to the to the this empty world. So uh, and you achieve that through NPCs and um, with a basic uh, dialogue system. I orientated the dialogue system based on um, Elden Ring and uh, Souls-like games, and so very down to earth, very simple dialogue and. And uh, yeah, and also enemies and note systems, uh, notes to find uh, across the levels. And so you want to look out and find some more lore pieces and stuff. And yeah, basically it's creating questions and giving answers 
to create interest. Yeah, basically. Yeah, and uh, basically the last step for the whole uh, situation, for the whole project before uh, the playtesting um, is to create uh, sound effects. Um, so I was uh, shaking a lot of spoons and, <laughs> and scratched on metal things and stuff uh, because uh, sound effects and ambient uh, sounds like like the the howling of the wind creates a lot more depth and layers and substance for the for the project for the for the world yeah and also a, a friend of mine who wants to get into um, game music and stuff uh, he he created a score for the first level and then I, I presented my, my parents and my brother uh, with a playable teaser for playtesting because um, a teaser demo is very important uh, and I have a minimalistic uh, control setup and stuff like that. So if the, the in this part I need um, feedback so I can adjust and, and fix stuff. And after that phase, I can create more levels, more content, more NPCs and, and so on. So that's basically the current state. Um, I got a lot of feedback, uh, a lot of helpful feedback. And like uh, the, the, the hooking system uh, is very difficult to get into, but after you figured it out, it's very fun. So. I think I have to create a whole um, demo level that just focus on the, the hook system before the first level. So that's that's a lot of work. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I really I think I have to to add this. Yeah, and uh, this this progress stage is a back and forth of uh, feedback, playtesting, adjusting to um, end up with. Uh, to end up with a presentable demo. And after this stage, and uh, I, I have a lot more uh, information to work with, I, I will continue with the project basically. So conclusion basically, um, uh, now I need really to get some distance to the project uh, to come back in a few days or maybe two weeks or so with a fresh um, uh, mindset and a uh, fresh empty mindset and uh, motivation to continue and uh, to build upon. Now I'm, I'm very exhausted. Uh, also the this channel suffered really big uh, the last few weeks I worked on the project um, so I, I saw the the numbers drop and I couldn't produce that con content I was uh, trying to to produce so now I really need to step back a bit take a short break from the project and yeah so that's the current stage uh, if you want to look up the game project it's on itch.io it's got a dedicated page uh, the name is hellcore um, the link is below after the playtesting the, the teaser demo will end up on itch.io and i think that's basically the last stage of the playtesting and feedback um, situation after that i will continue and create more stuff and i think i will also be more transparent here on the uh, channel about the, the game project but um, yeah I really try to make something a bit uh, bigger so uh, yeah bigger no, nothing you can finish in half an hour maybe something two hours plus um, and yeah uh, that's the situation it's it's hard doing stuff like that alone and also it's hard to create something like this and having a, a YouTube channel um, besides working full time. So I only had uh, one day a week to, to work on the whole situation. And uh, often my, my boss took even that one day uh, away from me. And, and many more things like screaming customers and annoying children, um, pissing on the floor and stuff like that. And I have to, to clean it. 
So yeah, um, I I quit the job by the way <laughs> last week. I I did that one and a half years now at that place, and I I'm done. I need I need a break. So um, a little bit to that. Uh, yeah, I, I quit that job. Obviously, <laughs> I should have done that sooner. <laughs> But hey, yeah, and now I'm I'm taking uh, this opportunity basically to to build up the channel more, um, to to work on my presence, to work on the the website, to create some courses, exclusive content, free free assets, um, and stuff like that. And yeah, and I I set myself uh, a, a limit of three months for building up the channel and becoming stronger than ever with this whole situation and I will start next next week so I have to do a lot of setup work I also want to recreate all this year and the, the studio so a 2.0 setup for this new age this new uh, situation <laughs> Also, um, I think this this character isn't representable for my current skill level, so I'm I'm further <laughs> with the low poly aesthetic and stuff, and also my my style developed a bit over over this time. Uh, so yeah, the, there is coming a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, that will be an exciting three months. Yeah, and yeah, uh, if I somehow manage to to end up being able to pay the bills i will continue with that whole um <laughs> creative thing <laughs> i i really feel like i can provide stuff i i hope so and yeah and if you feel so too and you want to support me it's very simple um subscribe tell other people from the st uh, from the channel like and um comment the videos and yeah, and if you want to help extremely big, 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 uh, consider becoming a patron. Um, yeah, like, like those lovely people. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, little story time situation. Um, I tried something new, more, more telling and, uh, it's it's i hope it was somehow educational and uh entertaining <laughs> and yeah and um yeah and i i i am looking far forward to this three month experiment of being basically full-time creator the 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 worst thing that can happen is i i get more uh content <laughs> So yeah, I really um, look forward to this situation and yeah, and soon um, this world will begun and will rise up at, at as something new and yeah, I really hope you will be on board then. So, um, see you in the next video I guess and 